OpenAI just leapfrogged a lot of competition with the announcement of GPT-5, which is, by the way, also free, sort of. There's been so much competition in the AI space that clearly OpenAI needed to make a statement, and boy, was it loud. The company just released GPT-5, calling it a major leap in intelligence and better instruction following. The model excels in areas like coding, math, writing, health, and visual understanding. GPT-5 is significantly more accurate, with web-enabled responses showing 45% fewer factual errors than GPT-4. And 80% fewer reasoning mistakes than OpenAI's O3. It's also more honest about what it can do and can't do, avoiding false claims or overpromising on tasks it can't complete due to missing tools or unclear prompts. So, why should you care? Well, in the past, you had to pay to access OpenAI's best models, which is also Google's current approach with Gemini Advance and Ultra. OpenAI is fixing that by making GPT 5 available to even the free tier, though, with a limit. That said, if you exceed it, you'll fall back into the GPT-5 mini model, which is still better than GPT-03, or you then pay if you find you need it. Plus, subscribers get higher usage limits, while pro subscribers get GPT-5 Pro with enhanced reasoning and unlimited usage. All models before this are getting replaced, and heck, even Apple has confirmed iOS 26 will be using ChatGPT-5 when it launches next month, so that's another plus. I'm curious to know what you think about all these changes in the comments.